In this how-to video, we'll cover the basics of the lockout features on a ProSense digital panel meter. I'm currently using a DPM2 model for this example. When reading the specifications of the lockout feature, we can totally or selectively lock out configuration parameters to prevent unauthorized or accidental changes to the meter's operation. First, I press and hold the enter button for three seconds until we see CODE displayed. It will quickly flash to four zeros as factory default code. We can create our own four digit passcode if we want. In this example, we'll leave it with four zeros. Next, we press enter again and we see LIST for list. If I press enter, we see T-lock for total lockout, which locks everything. We use a right arrow key and change to yes and press enter. And we see NAH, then no. This is the min and max for our output relays. We leave those at no. We press enter and store displays, meaning that our new settings are now stored into the unit. Now if I press enter, it will not allow me to go to program mode. It is completely locked out. Let's go back and make changes. We press and hold enter for three seconds. We see code and 0000, which is a passcode we chose earlier, the default passcode. We press enter and now we see list and press enter and now we see T lock for total lockout. It flashes up the current lockout so we change from yes to no. We press enter, next we see set one for set point one. What if we only wanted to lock out that input setup? We press enter when yes is displayed. Set to, we press enter. We change it to yes. Press enter. We leave the rest at no. We press enter until we go back to store. Now if I go back to program mode, I did not have the option to change our first and second inputs. They are locked out. I'll go back and change our locked out set points by pressing enter for three seconds. We see the code of 0000. Press enter and we see list. Press enter and total lockout is still no. Press enter and set one is yes. We change it and set two to no. Let's change input to a yes and display to a yes. We press enter until we get to store again. We go back to program and try to change our input. It will not allow changes. Now I go back and turn them all back to no and I can access all data input. I hope you found this video useful and follow us to our other how-to videos on the ProSense digital panel meters. Thanks and have a great day.